we have two large parallel plates and an electron is flowing from one plate to another. This flow of electron produces a space charge causing the potential in the gap to vary as V is equal to AX power 4 by 3. So the electron is flowing from one end to other and that's causing a potential which is varying as a distance X by this function. We need to find the volume density of space charge and current density. See why there will be a space charge at all. So you see V here. V is given as a function of X. And from here you can see that electric field will also be a function of X. Because potential is not a linear function of X. If V was proportional to X, then electric field which is dv by dx would be a constant. But here the field is not constant. Which means the change in field in the in between region that is caused by this space charge. And that's what we need to find. So let's start from there. V is equal to ax power 4 by 3 which means ex is equal to minus dv by dx and it is minus 4 by 3 ax power 1 by 3. Now as discussed the electric field if you take any small plate at a distance x and thickness dx the field is not constant. So let's say on the right side of this plate field is e plus d and on the left side of this plate field is e. So this change in field is due to this space charge that is that is uh, residing on this plate. So we know that dex, this change in electric field is sigma by epsilon naught where sigma is the, the surface charge density on this plate which I can write as rho x into volume. So this, this is charged by epsilon naught charge per unit area and charge I can write as rho x into volume and volume is adx. So dex becomes rho x dx by epsilon naught. But here we have a term of ex so we'll differentiate it once more and we get dex is minus 4a by 9x power 2 by 3 times dx. So now we can eliminate dx from both the equations because we need rho x. So we do that and we get rho x by epsilon naught is equal to minus 4a by 9x power 2 by 3 and simplifying we get rho x is equal to this which is our answer. This is the volume density of the space charge. Second current density. So let's start with the formula of the current density where we will get a term of current and current we can write as NeAVD right and n is electron density. So now we can imagine where this space charge will play its role in this problem. So let's start the current density. So J is I by A and I is NEAVD. So A will get cancelled and J will become NEVD. Now n is the, charge, uh, the electron density times charge on one electron will be charge density. And charge density we have already calculated here. So we'll just put that value here. And now we are left with VD. Now you can see that potential at this point is zero because X is zero. And this point potential is something AX power 4 by 3. So this change in potential means there will be change in energy of the electrons. So we'll do our energy conservation. So EVX is equal to half mv square. So we are writing this equation for the electron, one electron. So from here we get our drift velocity which will be 2 e vx by m and vx we know is a x power 4 by 3. So we just put that here and just simplify it a bit and we will get our answer. So once again I will quickly revise how we did this problem. So volume density, we saw that the potential as a function of x and the electric field is turning to be a variable, it's a function of x. That means there has to be some space charge. 
So DE change in electric field is because of sigma by epsilon and sigma we can write in terms of rho x. So we got one term of DE from here and second term of electric field we got from the equation of potential itself. So we differentiated it, we got EX and we differentiated it again, we got DEX. From these two equations, we eliminated DEX to find the value of rho x. Now, for second part, we needed to find current density. So, we started with the formula of current density, which is I by A. I we wrote as N E A V D. So, and N E we replaced by rho x and V D, the, the, the velocity of the electrons by the time they reach here, will be the change in potential times E into 2 by M whole root. And thus we got our answer.